Hello, this is 27 Chalmers, and today I'm going to show you how to make a piece of logic that, when given several analog signals, will determine the highest one. So here's the logic in action first. So there's four lights up there and four coloured boxes. Now it's very simple, just have a tag sensor to detect what box is nearby. There's no point in making a tutorial about that. But, when there's several boxes nearby, it will pick the nearest one to the to the microchip, which is about here. See? And it works with multiple boxes, like 3 or 4, or 50 if you wanted. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how it works. Okay. For you know, I'll just delete this all and show you. Okay, so these are the four outputs to the lights. Now, first thing you want to do is make four tag sensors and put them all different colours. Now I'm going to make them about radius of thirty. So all, all the colours you want, and then hook them straight into an OR gate. Now the good thing about OR gates is, if they're given multiple signals, they'll take the highest signal. So like at the moment these are all on zero, because there's no signal going through them. But, if I move this one a little bit closer, it will get about like a 50% signal and it will pass that through the OR gate and there's a 100% or so then so this will take the highest one so we now know what the highest signal is but we don't know from what box it came from we just know the value of the highest signal it could be any of them so what we do is we do a little bit of subtraction. We take four direction combiners and we plug the highest signal into the positive. Like that. And then take each of these four tags and wire them into their corresponding direction combiner. Like that. So each one's got its own one. I'm just going to move these up and make this. Okay. So now, let's say we put a blue box in here and a red box. Now, the blue box is closer. So that will take the highest signal of about 70 whereas this is like 20 or 30 so they'll put 70 and put it through all the positives of these and then what we'll do is since this is 70 and the highest is 70 70 minus 70 is obviously 0 whereas this is about 30 so 70 minus 30 is Okay, I meant to know that, but it ain't zero. So if it's zero, then it will be correct. Of course, these won't show it correctly. You'd have to use... I don't know how this works. Don't can't ask me in the comments or anything. I have to find out how. But if you get a sequencer, set it to positional, and then put a battery on it, um, it will determine if it's zero or not. I'm pretty sure there is a way, I've just forgotten how it works. So you just hook all of these into that, like that, and only one will come up as nothing. Of course, if we just took the battery straight into the thing, we'd have three that are on and one that's off, because we're looking for the one that's zero. We'd have to invert it, so we need a not gate. We need four of them. Or 
storage tank. And we just plug it in. You can see that that one's on 100% at the moment. And so is that one. So this one should be a bit different. Yeah, it's on about 60. Oh, that's right, it's about 40, 30. And then plug these into their lights. Now I can't remember which light's which. So I'm just gonna have to guess. That's the right yeah, that's the right one. Okay, I'm hoping these are the right colours. I can just edit the colours of the lights. Okay, so that's good. It should work now. Oh, okay, I've got that colour right. And it will detect which when one of them's closer. But there is a problem. Oh, I've got them all right. Okay, there's a tiny problem. If you take them all out, then there's no signal. So the highest signal is zero. And zero minus zero is zero. So they all come true. So this is the bit where you've got to add a little bit of annoying logic that I don't like. Okay, you have to have an OR gate with four inputs and hook all of these inputs. Shut up, Sammy. Hook all the tag inputs into this OR, the OR gate. You can't use the old one because that's going to be edited. Here. And then you give this OR gate another input at the bottom. And then in invert this so that if none of these tags are on, then give a hundred percent input to this all gate, which will turn all of all of the colours on. So now it should work completely perfectly, unless you've messed it up somehow, which you probably have somehow. People managed to do that. This could be useful for stuff such as King of the Hill games where you have to have the closest person to the hill. You could just use a normal tag center, but if there's more than one person on there, you don't want them all to be scoring points, then you could use this. I did earlier have a problem where if they're equal distance, they'd sort of interrupt with each other, and you had like five on. Yeah, I tested with five. But yeah, that's how you make, um, that's how you make logic sense the highest signal where it came from. This is 27 Chandlers and bye.